what's going on? So, Friday, this weekend I got my CrossFit certification class. I'm gonna be gone all weekend. Rich Homie Sean's coming up for that because we roll together on all advancing education, things like that, it seems like. So, it'll be a long weekend, and I got the daddy daughter dance. And, um, you know, a lot's going on in the world today. You know, we had, um, we have to kind of address this. I don't want to get too political on this channel, but, you know, essentially we're, uh, we're dropping bombs on Syria, which, which gets us involved in some shit potentially with Russia because they're, they're over there with Assad and sending him stuff, um, as far as aid and military support and all that. And we're getting involved in this. I remember Trump was extremely against getting involved in this conflict, but after, you know, they had those issues where... You know, kids were getting killed by that uh, that chemical attack, right? Um, you know, I guess the U.S. government said, okay, it's time for us to step in. Now, I'm not one, I'm a libertarian, so I am mostly non-interventionist. But again, if we were completely non-interventionist, even though we were completely attacked in World War II, we would have never gone in and helped liberate, I don't know, the genocide of millions of people. So is this akin to a World War II situation where humanitarianly, we have no choice but to get involved? Okay, bro, I'll get you breakfast in a second. So, you know what? That's besides the point. You know what? What the government does, the government does. All we can do as people is vote in. The people will think I have the right th right decision. Did he need to go to Congress because it was an act of war? Well, he wasn't declaring war. He was simply, um, what he says, again, you can believe politicians, including Trump supporters. He's not a politician. He is now. He's president of the United States. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's, a, it's an attack for... You know, U.S. security, he can do that. Constitutionally, he can do that, but because it wasn't a declaration of war. Now, you know, so here's the deal. <laughs> Preston's so cute. So here's the deal. We're going to use that as kind of a springboard. Getting involved in stuff that isn't really your business. You know, it kind of goes into like, if you don't like something, don't watch it. We did that the other day. But at the end of the day, if you... Get involved in stuff that isn't pertaining to you, online, with friends, whatever. It gets you in more trouble than it's worth. If something doesn't affect you or doesn't affect your day-to-day, -day, like if someone's, if someone's wearing a shirt that offends you, you know, and it's not really affecting you, but maybe the shirt offends you, or maybe it's a, maybe it's a Hillary for president shirt or a Trump for president shirt or whatever, um, make America great again hat. You know, is that really affecting you that that person has that opinion? Oh, well, they're the reason the country's going where it is. No, they're not. I mean, them and 50% of the other people because it was about a 50-50 decision there. Other than the 1% that the stupid idiots on the other parties, Gary Johnson and Jill Stein got, at the end of the day, they're not offending you. What do you have against them? Like, stop it. Just stop being stupid. If something doesn't offend you, stay out of the business. So... So from a military standpoint, you know, what non-interventionists and libertarians believe is that we need to take care of our home before we start bombing stuff elsewhere. We got plenty of issues over here than to worry about spending all this money overseas. You know, you look at the budget we have for military, I'm all for building up defense, but is that offense necessary, good for a, necessary for a good defense? Not sure, because we don't have all the information too. Like, here's the deal. You don't think Obama went into presidency nine years ago thinking, oh, I'm just going to lie about this whole Guantanamo Bay thing and this, that, that place is still up and running nine years after Obama made the promise to shut it down. You want to know why? Because when you get voted into office, you get all this information, this classified stuff. And I bet you he got that information. He's like, whoa, if I let these people out, we're in deep doo-doo. So I think that there's a lot of information we don't know that we assume is fact due to national security that's, that's held from us. And I don't know if that's a good thing that um, once the president is privy of that, they change their tune. So on Obama, just defending Obama as well, people get on him about Guantanamo Bay. I'm sure the fool wanted to shut it down. Obama did not like Guantanamo Bay. But once you find out what happens when it gets shut down, I'm sure something happened. I don't even know what happens when it gets shut down. But bringing that all back to our lives, you know, how do we circle back and use this lesson for us? Okay, when you're not involved in something, if something doesn't directly affect you negatively, don't get involved, don't cause trouble, keep the peace, and worry about what you have going on in your own house. So rich homie Sean is here. We're about to go CrossFit. I've been CrossFitting, but now it's just official. <laughs> I'm learning the Fran, the, the, the Kip, 
The you Shelby. Mean, the Shelby. He's going to make an appointment with Dr. Stu for Sunday night when he gets back at like See, our, our goal, <laughs> my goal is to CrossFit train people in Elgin. Stu's business is going to go up yes. by like 1,200. for business, yeah. yeah. We're going to get referral points. So next, <laughs> <laughs> so we have a spread out here. This is what we all, I mean, so we have the hamburger patties. Bison burgers. Bison burgers. I'm, I'm sorry, that was too... Hamburger um, patties. Is there breadcrumbs in there? Yes. Of course. Um, Italian. She messes with the... I a, didn't do oatmeal. We have to do something Is it gluten-free oh, breadcrumbs? <laughs> Mom made croissant little things. Croissants? <clears throat> Plank steak, can chicken, <laughs> broccoli, and pasta. And you think and you have it rough. Progress. I have it tough, man. Yeah. Life's a struggle. There's no fish. There's no fish. <laughs> I don't cook fish. I don't eat it. I don't, I don't eat it either. <laughs> well... We'll just have to go out. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably put this back. We should probably go eat something. You know, I always get dressed up when Sean comes into town. You guys know that, right? I demand a good-looking life partner. 30-something-year-old. <laughs> this is See, up here, it's all it's all professional. Midlife crisis on the bottom. Cammy, come here. Da-da-da-da. It's time for beautiful the daddy-daughter dance. Look how beautiful she How looks old like. does she look right now? Like, like 32? 16? She's 11? In a few months. Let's wow. see your dress. Twirl around, beautiful girl. I can't twirl. I don't know what she's Don't fall over. Those okay. are the, wait, let's see the heels. Those are the biggest heels she's ever had. They're kind of like a wedge. She's learning to walk. She can't them. dance in flat feet. You yeah. expect her flat to dance feet. in those. All right, Cammy girl. Say cheese. You look beautiful. Say cheese for a video. Yeah. And on the Polish one. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like your racism. Oh, man, the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Just stop. <laughs> You know, so I just got back from the uh, daddy-daughter dance, right? And uh, it's really, it's my last one. You know, my daughter's out of fifth grade. She's going into sixth grade, that's junior high. There's no more daddy-daughter dances, man. Next time I'll be dancing with her, I'll probably be at her wedding. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, she's deadlifting 185 pounds and playing elite travel soccer and all this. And you look at all the good times and you look at everything you do in life. And, <clears throat> you know, I don't know if uh, a lot of you guys out there have a daughter and a son, but there's a connection you have with your daughter that's different. I'm not saying you love one more than the other. I'm just saying that when your girl grows up and it's just different because you don't go to daddy son dances and you don't have that bond and that connection that, that you do with your daughter. And uh, got to admit, it was hard not getting emotional walking out of that <clears throat> gymnasium. You know, we had fun and we danced and I broke it down and she did her best to break it down and we slow danced and we talked and we laughed and we joked about the other dads and it was a good time, you know? And so as, as she grows up, I need to kind of, I just need to kind of deal with the fact that I won't always be there to protect her. That I have to trust that the values and the ethics and the strength that Katie and I instilled in her are enough to carry her through life. And in junior high next year, she's gonna face so many challenges and so many temptations. And I remember junior high, I remember high school. <clears throat> I know it's out there. I know there's drugs, I know there's other things that I won't even mention and, and uh, I have to deal with that. <sighs> So this is a big night for me, you know. It's not graduation, it's it's kinda like it's the last daddy daughter dance. And I always cry after daddy daughter dances, and I do. But the next time I'll be dancing with her will probably be at her wedding. And just a few years ago I was holding her as a baby. And I was taken to the zoo as we went our little, <clears throat> spent time alone together. And I remember changing her diaper on the, on the bench in the public in the zoo, you know, when she was two years old. 
And I remember she used to love to go on my shoulders and, and look at the giraffes at the North Carolina Zoo. So, that's always my daughter. It's my girl. Someone, if anything ever happened to her, I'd, I'd kill somebody. That's my daughter. And so, this night comes to an end. It's kind of like <clears throat> an entire era, an entire stage of her life. It's kind of over. Elementary school is done after this year. She has two more months left and then she's, she's in junior high. I remember what I was like in junior high and I hope to God she's not like me. I think we'll be okay though. She's a good girl. <clears throat> but that's that, guys. It was a beautiful night. And I had the most beautiful girl with me. She has a soccer game tomorrow. So she needs to get some sleep. I'm gonna put her to bed, guys. So, I'm looking at my email this morning. I get a mass email from one of the other sites that sell supplements that you're just a number to, right? They were bragging that one supplement line was free shipping. Bro, if you order over $99 in product in the continental US any day of the week, free shipping anywhere in the US, at continental USA, free shipping on orders over $99 at tigerfitness.com. Why even look at the other guys? And also we ship from Vegas and Ohio. Most places in the US are a one to two day ship. And that's not a game.